Our final light is going to be um, the most uh, complicated of them all. Uh, it actually, the, the operation of applying it is very simple, but uh, the rendering time and uh, many of the features that come along with uh, Skylight uh, can become complicated. Now in order to give you a better feel for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create um, a couple more shapes. I'm going to do some boxes um, out in my scene here. And uh, the more objects we have, the more um, definition you'll see uh, how this works. But here we've got several different colors. And now again, we have no custom materials here. These are just basic shapes and max. When we actually use custom mapping and color, this uh, particular light will really um, do a great job at, at rendering. However, as we know, anything that um, produces good results is going to take longer rendering, rendering time. So we're going to go out to Create, Lights, Skylight. And uh, I'm going to place the skylight right above the sphere. But um, really, where I place it is not going to be of any concern, because a skylight pretty much represents an infinite amount of light traveling from above. All right. Now, we can rotate a skylight, which kind of uh, helps us to maybe direct where the sun would be coming from. But ultimately, this is ultimately uh, this is how we would generate sun in um, a scene when we're using uh, the scan line rendering. So I'm going to go ahead and hit render. Now what you're going to see here is uh, there is no definition at all. Notice the light is bouncing everywhere. Uh, realistically, in uh, real life, that's what happens. Is uh, sunlight comes down, it bounces around, and truthfully, uh, there are no shadows. Uh, but there are. And we know that from looking at um, how the light, when it travels so far, it can't make its way back. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go in with the light selected. We're going to go in the Modify. And uh, of course, we can turn it off. We can apply the modifier. We can actually define the sky color. So if we go, OK, maybe a little blue, because that's what color the sky is. We're also going to hit this Cast Shadows. Now once you do that, uh, we're going to now go Render. And what you're going to notice, it's going to take uh, a little longer to render. And the reason why it's taking a while is because when you use Skylight, Max automatically uh, uses a, um, a format, or I should say a light property called um, uh, Light Tracer. And what Light Tracer is doing is it's pretty much going in there and it's determining, you know, depending on where the light source is coming from and the colors and all that, it's going to apply shading to uh, the various objects. Uh, this is a great way to start doing architectural uh, exteriors. That it uh, really offers that feature where uh, rooms inside a house would be dark because the sun is not reaching that area. So I'm going to go ahead and let this render out. And um, I'm going to pause it. And then once it's done rendering, uh, I'll, I'll resume the video. Now, as you can see, this is starting to wrap up the rendering. And uh, you can see that our white table is actually blue because the, uh, the sky uh, is actually allowing light to um, be absorbed into that table. Uh, and then if you notice, the, the, uh, the tops of the, ba the boxes are, are pretty much the natural color but the back sides are darker. You can also see the shadows here that actually appear pretty soft. They're not too uh, hard. Um, and you'll notice when I, when I say soft and hard, you'll know that's the difference in our next tutorial. But uh, it's a very subtle shadow. Uh, our eyes know they're there, but they're not, they're not, you know, it's not like there's a gigantic light. And the reason why uh, is because it's telling light to bounce around the scene and actually light up this area a little bit, okay? Assuming that there are other objects around this that are generating light. So that is Skylight. And um, again, when we use Skylight, you're actually going to see here under the word Rendering, uh, we have the word Light Tracer. And uh, you can adjust Light Tracer, but it becomes active the moment you begin casting shadows. And we can go in and we can adjust um, for instance, the word bounces. Bounces allows us to actually say, all right, when the light hits, does it bounce to another object? 
The higher the bounce, the brighter the scene will look, but the longer it will take to render. Okay, and uh, we do a lot with Light Tracer and Animation too when we start creating outdoor scenes. But uh, just so you know that there is uh, radiosity in here too. We make sure that we're in Light Tracer. Okay. All right. So that ends our tutorial on uh, Skylight, and uh, in our next tutorial we will actually begin um, generating shadows with other forms of light.